everyone. I was really excited to uh, get started uh, creating some more pages in my coffee journal. I'm just so happy to have it ready to go. So I was flipping through looking and um, I really like uh, this bag with the black print and I thought that my tag uh, that I had created would look really cute on that. I think that just, I don't know, I just really like it and then I like the way that there'll be a pocket uh, behind here. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach um, this tag and before I do, I've got a little piece of, um, I think this was like a an old pillowcase or something and I had coffee stained it at some point. I can't even remember uh, what I had done but I thought that would be a really cute little tie in the top and it's short, I'm not gonna tie it. So what I thought I'd do is uh, just bring it through the uh, hole in the tag and then I'm gonna tie a little piece of a jute around the um, the top of the tag right here, just right around the ribbon and hold it together that way. And it makes an additional little um, bit of, you know, an <clears throat> excuse me, another fun little bit of string and texture for the tag so it makes it really cute. So I could tie a bow but I think I'm going to just do a little knot and then snip, snip the ends off because I just think that's really cute. All right, I'm just going to cut that off kind of like that. And um, it could even be frayed a little bit too, which would look really cute. I'll just to fray the ends of the uh, jute. Just flip it with my fingernail and it kind of uh, frays it out some. So, isn't that sweet? I think you can see where that's kind of frayed a little. Anyway, um, I think that that is, is just adorable and adds a lot. And then the little uh, ties will uh, stick up above the uh, book also so you can see it even when it's closed. So I'm going to put that on this bag and that will help reinforce also the fact that this, this is a really thin bag. So I'm just going to put some glue here and stick it down. Just like that. And I use that particular glue, the Fabrifix, because I know it will dry quickly. And I won't have to, you know, clip it down with clothespins or clips or anything. It'll dry pretty quick. And then I can move on to other things. Okay. Now there's a little, um, I've got a little thing from Starbucks. Um, I think it comes in the mail or I don't know how these work but it's where you get your stars if you're part of the um, a member of Starbucks online thing and I thought I would put that inside this bag because I thought the colors were so complimentary and um, and then I found this little green tag that I had uh, in my stash and I thought uh, that would be really uh, adorable right next to this tag with the the green stuff on it right and um, and then I saw um, I've got the bottom of a little notepad and it's got this little birdie sitting on a cup and it's just adorable and I thought that that would look so cute on the bottom of this tag all the colors match and everything <laughs> it's just so sweet and it's just um, you know a leftover off of a notepad you know if you've ever got cute notepads laying around and you've written on them and you get ready to throw it away, if it's got something cute on it, you really should snip it out, uh, tear it off, whatever, and then you've got little bits laying around for use later, you know, when you're getting ready to create. And that's what I did in this case, and I'm really, really glad that I did. So, we're just gonna glue that right in the corner of that tag.
think that's far enough. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is too cute. Too cute. Okay. Got a baby wipe for sticky fingers over here, so I'm going to wipe my fingers. All right. Okay. And I'll save that and use it later because that's another usable piece of just a little trim, you know? So I love that. Love it. And look how cute that looks. I didn't even have to trim it out anymore or anything. I just, just stuck it down just because it's fun. <laughs> so I think that's going to be really cute on here because I don't really need this information. Um, and if I want to remember that it was a, a Starbucks uh, type of thing, it's all on the back about, you know, being about Starbucks. So now at some point I might cover this so that I can write on it or add another you know, like add a photograph or something like that. But at any rate, it's a beautiful card with that black and gold on there. I love it. So I'm glad I saved a couple of those to uh, to use. I wasn't even sure how I would use them until I just sat down here just a minute ago and saw how pretty that looked together. So, okay. So I'm going to glue this down also right on top of the card. Really pretty. Okay. So for now, I'm just going to tuck that in the bag, and I may come across something later that I want to attach either here or um, on the back, like I said. So. But I think that's gorgeous. I'm very happy with that, just like that. All right, so we'll tuck that in there for now. Okay, um, let's see what else. I, um, I have that same notepad. Okay, here's that notepad that, um, and this has been torn. Um, and I threw it in a box and saved it. Perfect for this journal. It was a long, um, a long t a tablet and I probably tore some information off of there, and then I tore the top of the ta uh, tablet off, and the way it read is the early birdie gets the first cup. So I thought that would be really cute. Uh oh there's glue there. I better not lay that there. <laughs> okay, so I thought that would look really sweet on one of these uh, green pages where the um, ledger is. Let's see if I've got anything on this yet. So either side would be fine. Um, see where's my, my tag is here let's do it back here I just wanted to move it a little bit further away because it's the same image that I put on that tag but I thought it would look really cute on the uh, ledger paper with the green lines and all and then I could just attach this here like this and you know maybe even put a piece of washi tape in between or whatever but I think it's a sweet little decoration for this book So I'm gonna glue it down. It's so much fun just to be able to glue little junk pieces like this because this is nothing more than, you know, a used up piece of pad paper. And then I said, oh, that's cute. I'll tear that off. I might be able to use it sometime. And sure enough, it's just a lot of fun to be able to use these things. Very much fun, okay. There we go. So cute. That's adorable. Okay. 
Yeah, let's see. I have this little, um, this was like a little bookmark that came with a Lang calendar. You can see that down here. And um, it was a coffee calendar. I used to get those every year. And uh, I was so excited about this little tiny bookmark when I saw it in the package. And I knew I was going to save it for for something like this. Not sure even at the time that I was going to do a coffee journal, but I thought, you know, maybe a, an art journal page about coffee or something like that. So I thought it would look really sweet with this page, and I thought over here would be really nice. And I've got some fabric swatches. Um, both of these are coffee stained. So I thought maybe I could put one down here. Let's see. Like this, and then one coming out the side a little bit. And then put this on top. Kind of like a little cluster of sorts. Okay, let's just put it down. Let's just do it. got a tiny little word here. I've got some magazine words in this um, in this little uh, little pocket. <laughs> um, okay, these are um, small. this cold brew. I cut that out because that's that's the kind of coffee I make and drink. And I kind of like it there because it does match. It's actually yellow and brown. Look at that. <laughs> I kind of like it. It doesn't cover up all those words. Um, maybe I can put this little word coffee down there too. It's a tiny one there. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, let me stick these back in so I don't lose them. Okay. These are, you know, like labeling different kinds of coffee and then to put my kind at the bottom, I think it's fun. <laughs> so why not, right? Let's just snip a little bit of that off. And let's stick it down. So there's how it looks at the bottom. <laughs> I love that. That worked out perfectly. Just looking through, trying to uh, think about what I might want to use next. That's cute. Okay, and I've got a little piece of um, brown ribbon. This was <clears throat> this was a scrap from my box. And um, look at there, it's getting used. It's just the right length. <laughs> Love that. That is so cute there. I love it. All right. Um, 
I'm trying to, I'm thinking I, I might want to put a little border in here or some washi tape or something. Let me look at my washi tape. Because this page does need a little bit of color. It's all brown, which is not bad, really. But I was thinking it might be fun to add a little bit of um, some color. Okay, I like this one. <clears throat> so I'm going to put that along this uh, edge. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to run it over the glue stick just to make sure it stays put. Just in case. That adds a little bit more to the page. Let's put one on this side too, just just cause. So that helps it to uh, that helps it to stand out a little bit more. So I like that. <laughs> Very cute. Very cute. Now let's see. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I want to put something in this um, this big fold out uh, spot in the center here. Um, and I have another little serendipity story. This happened, oh gosh, it's probably been two or maybe three years ago now. But I was sitting in my living room and I happened to look up at the uh, bookshelf that's across the room. And I noticed that the little there's a little tiny clock, <clears throat> a little tiny clock that sits there on the shelf. And... This was in the middle of the afternoon when I noticed this, but I looked at that little clock and I realized that the clock had stopped. So here's a picture I took of this little clock on the bookshelf. And it stopped right at, I mean, a minute maybe away from eight o'clock. I thought that is so weird that it would stop like right on an hour like that. And so, I thought about it and I, I kept thinking, why in the world would it stop at 8 o'clock? And then I realized why. <laughs> this is why. I drink 8 o'clock coffee. <laughs> so that's going to go in here. <laughs> I think that is so hilarious. And I have not replaced the battery in that clock at all because I enjoy seeing that 8 o'clock there. <laughs> So I'm putting that in my coffee journal because that's a funny story. And here's the reason why. Because it's coffee time. <laughs> so I think that's great. I think it's so funny. 
So um, I'm gonna glue these down. Um, I do want to be able to kind of jot down why uh, why these pictures are here. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna tip this one in on this side so that I will have a space to write underneath it. And, uh, and so I won't glue that one down uh, completely. So I need to get some washi to put that down with. Let's see, maybe this one. Okay, let me move this just a bit so I can get this in place. And I need to um, cut that off so it's nice and straight. Kind of go right next to the edge of the photo. Whoops, get that piece. good all right so I'm gonna put that in here stick this down all right and then I will fold it back and do the same thing on the back side Now we've got the little page that will flip out on this side. <laughs> okay, and over here I'm going to put a little question mark. <clears throat> I've got some stickers here and I found a little question mark. Um, but I think I want to uh, see if I can tone down the brightness of that yellow just a little bit. And I'm going to use some, um, use some ink. Try some Distress Ink. I got a new color. This one's Antique Linen. And um, it's kind of nice. It's kind of like a, a soft coffee stain color. So I like it. I'll try this brush here and see what I can... Yeah, let's see what that looks like on there. It may not be enough on this because it is so bright. The yellow is so bright. It might not be enough to uh, tone it down very much. So I'll probably have to use a little bit darker color. Let's see. So let's go with the vintage photo. See what that looks like. I'm gonna um, wipe some of this away though. I don't know if this ink is actually gonna stick to this. Um, it's a little bit of a slicker. Um, oh, well that did tone it down a little bit. That's good. Um, it's a little bit of a slicker paper, but it did tone it down some, so as long as it dries well, it'll probably be okay, but I just don't think it's going to, yeah, I might have to go to a um, permanent ink instead of the archival, I'm sorry, instead of the distress ink, I mean. Let's go with this one. This one is Tree Branch by the Archival, I mean by Ranger in the Archival inks. Let's see what this one does. Let's see. Paper back in there. Well, it's coloring the edge of it real good. <laughs> I think it's just this slick paper that doesn't want to uh, want to take it too well. Okay, so that's not working so well. So we're gonna go to plan. What are we on? A, B, C, plan D, <laughs> and we'll try maybe coloring it with. Uh, <clears throat> I don't want it to be too dark though. I'm afraid this might be too dark. But let's see if I put it on and kind of blot it a little bit. 
That might not be too bad. Yeah, it's pretty much wiping right off. This is a weird, this is a weird paper that these stickers are on. All right. So, maybe it's toned down enough. It's not quite as bright as these, <clears throat> as those letters are. So, let's see. Just peel it up and see what it looks like. Just wanted to put the question mark up here on the um, on the photo. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's bright, but it's not it's not as bright as this uh, other stuff up here. Okay, let's see if we can get this tiny little dot out of here. Come on. Okay, so now we got a question mark in place. I can move these out of the way. Okay, so now I can glue this down um, flat. <clears throat> I love that that clock stopped right at 8 o'clock. <laughs> it just makes me laugh every time I look at it. I mean, of all the times that a clock could stop, that is bizarre. <laughs> bizarre. Okay. We got the 8 o'clock here. Eight o'clock coffee. It's good stuff. <clears throat> All right, and then this guy, I'm going to put the uh, ink where I stamped uh, this has bled through just a little bit on this side. So I thought I might put this down near the bottom. Although I really kind of want to have it here. So maybe I'll put something else there. I've got a piece of um, graph paper that I coffee stained. <clears throat> and uh, this is a photocopy of it. And I'm going to attach that to this entire piece of this page. And then put this on top. And I think that is gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. Okay, it makes me happy when I find just the right thing. Because I know it's here. And all of this stuff I've got spread around me, you guys wouldn't believe the amount of stuff. You just see this one little section. But I have this entire, my whole table and a table beside me that's just full of coffee stuff. <laughs> so it's just a matter of finding the right thing, you know. <laughs> so this time I'm going to put the glue on the page because that way I won't have any excess uh, on the paper since it's bigger. So I'm going to just glue the page and glue it up. And this is kind of handy too when I think about it because I had a little tear in this paper uh, when it was wet, when I coffee stained it. It was um, wet and I tore it just a bit so this will um, reinforce that. So I was gonna make sure that I put, you know, something there, uh, whether I glued a paper or a, I used some tape, washi tape or something there, but something was gonna go there to help that. So I'm glad that this will work. All right, I'm gonna Stick it right on the, next to the fold. Not right on it, but pretty close. Here we go. So this is making me very happy. I like the way this is looking. And I know I just wet that paper, but I had glue there that I didn't want there and it, it'll dry. 
it'll dry in a second. Okay. So, uh, see, here's that little area that, I don't know if you can even see that little area there that tore. So, just want to make sure that that's pressed down good so it won't be coming up. I still might put something else on top of that on the other side. I'm going to dry this glue real quick. I've got to fold this page back. I don't want it to stick to the other side. I also wanted to mention that um, I did sell uh, out of the coffee journal kits that I talked about in the first uh, video. And uh, so I wanted to let you guys know that I, I did put a little embellishment kit in the, in the shop. I, I thought, well, I do have a few embellishments left over, so I, I, can, um, I can put those in an embellishment kit. So I do have that in the uh, shop now. And uh, if they run out, I will probably put in a few more. But this uh, coffee sheet is, um, is in that little embellishment kit, this coffee stain sheet. And also this little tag that's um, coffee stained with uh, rings, bottom of a coffee cup uh, rings. And um, not only is it a tag, it opens up. So it's fun for journaling or adding extra stuff. So I thought that was a fun little way to uh, use that print. I do love how that looks. That is so fun. Now, before I stick it down, I'm going to um, I'm going to run my Faber-Castell pit pen along the edge and um, just give it a little bit of a dark brown edge so it will pop real nicely in the middle of that page. <clears throat> so much better okay so I'm going to give that a minute to dry um, this little tag um, is a very heavy <laughs> cardstock tag um, is also in the embellishment kit and I stamped it with my handmade stamp that says yum of course it says mooey <laughs> if you're Spanish you'll know mooey <laughs> I think it's funny um, but that's my uh, little yum stamp there that I stamped those with. And there's also a little spoon, a little metallic. Um, it's a metallic paper spoon that I die cut. So that's going to be fun to use. And um, this little tag uh, is also on, on the uh, part of the kit. I mean, it's part of the wrapping. Uh, on the kit and so <clears throat> these little tabs these little page tabs are also in there this one is uh, stamped with a coffee cup on one side and the coffee beans on the other side and there's a pink one and a blue one and uh, the craft colored one and then there's a few of the other things that that were also in the coffee journal kit um, the um, some of the notepad papers are in there, and um, this uh, piece of um, cardstock, I mean, uh, scrapbook paper, a, a bit of that. It may not look exactly like that, uh, but it's uh, from the same sheet, and um, it was just full of coffee words and, and a few images, so there's a piece of that in the kit. So... Just head over to my Etsy store and you can take a look at the photos and see what all is included in that. Okay. This little image is um, from the internet, probably from Pinterest. And um, I thought that would be really cute to have in my journal. 
go. That is so fun. Very cute. Very happy with that. All right, so that's a fun little story that I'll be able to um, put inside here and so I can remember that. And then I'll have um, you know room for some other bits on the on the other sides here, here, and also here. All right, so let's see. I did have one um, one thing I wanted to add on this page. I really love this page with the napkin on it. I um, I found a piece of rickrack that I thought was really pretty because it's in the teal or aqua color, and um, then I thought it would probably look so much better with a little piece of lace. So I found this piece in my stash that had already been coffee stained and I'm going to add that to the edge and then I'm going to put this on right on top uh, right near the straight edge and I think that looks so sweet <laughs> so fun okay so let me get my blue out again the um, fabric fix this time trying to look and see if there's a front and a back. Sometimes I can tell and other times I can't tell. So I don't think it's really gonna matter either way. I think I may just, um, instead of trying, it's so hard to put glue on things that are so movable, that wiggle and move, not, not like a piece of paper. Um, so I think I'm gonna just put this along the um, page so I'm going to put that right here. I've got a line to follow from the graph paper that was underneath this napkin. <laughs> That's helpful. And we'll put some little bits here and there. Okay. okay and then I'm just going to lay it on. I love it hanging over the edge just a little bit. And it's not too far that it's going to be a problem on the outside or anything. So I like that. Okay. Then I'll put the Rick Rack there and I'm just going to follow the line of the um, on the lace here. That is so cute. How fun. And using up little bits of things that are just sitting in a box and being able to enjoy them. I love it. Okay. Okay, I love that. That is so sweet. <laughs> sweet little lacy edge right on the edge of the page. That's fun. Okay, now let's see. What else do we want to do? I don't know if I had any more planned. Oh, I did want to uh, come back here while I was looking for the uh, question mark. <laughs> earlier, um, I came across um, these little hearts on some letter, in some letter stickers. There was some, a couple of symbols. And so I want to put one heart on either side of this.
and so sweet. I really like it. Okay, so I uh, flipped back in the book a little ways and um, I wanted to put something on this page that would show behind this small page and I found this um, roll of washi tape that I have that has text on it. It's a big roll. And I cut a piece of that off and now I'm going to just cut it right down the middle and put a strip uh, on this page at the top and at the bottom. And... Um, And then I'll have like a little background started for something on this page. This is not easy to fool with, this wide washi tape. <laughs> we'll manage. Okay. This one's going to go at the top. And I better make the edge kind of straight to go in there. i try to. Y'all know how I am about cutting things straight. That's uh, not my forte. But I think it's better than it was. So, probably want to put uh, glue on this too. A little glue stick. really nice with the text in the background. Looks really cute. I need to probably put a little bit more um, here and here and then just plan on gluing something in the center but I do want to cover that edge there so I can cut a really small strip here to do that. So that looks a lot better. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, I uh, found some washi tape I want to put across here. And uh, it's it's a vintagey kind of a colors with some bright on it too. And I love it. Look how cute that looks. <laughs> Just makes me happy. The pink adds a nice little pop of color over there. Kind of makes you notice the little bit of a red color at the bottom here, too. It's kind of nice. Okay, and while we're talking about this page, I found a little button while I was off camera. And I tied a little piece of um, string that I had all dyed when I was coffee dyeing um, some tags and things. And I'm going to put that right here. Just a fun little addition to the page, and it's a three-dimensional element, so that's fun. It's getting full now. I mean, I'm feeling the weight of it, <laughs> so it's kind of cool, and I'm enjoying it so much. So, um, I'll go through my stuff and decide what I want to do next for the next video and um, I'll be back to uh, share some more and um, 
In the meantime, um, check out the Etsy store if you need uh, coffee embellishments. And uh, I thank you for being here with me today. I really do. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.